Okay, this vehicle came in with a weird shifting issue or a non-shifting issue, so I'm going to automatic transmission right now, and I'm just going to check for fault codes. And you can see here, uh, 281 vehicle speed sensor G68 no signal and 652 gear monitoring impossible implausible signal. So I'm just clearing codes to see what comes back right away. The car is just idling at this point and vehicle speed sensor G68 came back right away. Clearing it one more time and I might be checking it one more time here. Yeah, so it does come back right away. It's a hard fault. Uh, so then what I did, I went to measuring blocks and um, and I just scrolled up and I'm looking for vehicle speed um, and I was hoping to get more than one uh, data block group on screen but you can see that uh, the computer has a hard time keeping more than one row of uh, data values or blocks visible it's uh, such a slow refresh rate so on this one I'll just uh, keep four one one um, group open uh, and um, that way the speed isn't affected too much. Uh, so anyways, I'm scrolling up here and I think it was data block or group four that had vehicle speed. Uh, you'll see that in a second. And so I've got vehicle speed on the right and uh, driving mode is what the gear it's in and the selector lever position obviously in D. So I am driving the vehicle right now. Uh, RPM is not visible unfortunately, but you can see the odd time it shifts up to uh, or that's me shifting, sorry, uh, manually from D to 3 and 2, and you can see the driving mode does not change, although it just did right now, but that didn't change until about 4,000 RPM. So basically what's happening is that the transmission is starting in limp mode, uh, in uh, second gear already, and then as you're accelerating, it feels a little bit gutless off the line, starting off, and then not until like 4,000 RPM is when it shifts into the next higher gear. Um, and then obviously when in reverse it goes into reverse. So this is all pointing towards a bad vehicle speed sensor that's in the transmission and we're going to remove it now and show you where it is. Uh, broken connector. Just get it under there and lift it up. I was going to complain about somebody putting a Robertson, Roberts, Robertson's head screw, screw in here, but then I realized it was me. Some of you might remember this one for the second year codes. speed sensor is located under this mount you can see the black wire right there follows along to over here so we can do an output test here <coughs> so this thing has uh, G68 fault code no signal and when driving it it starts off in second gear and pretty much stays in there until 4000 rpm and then it decides to shift up into third um, and when driving, viewing, measuring blocks for vehicle speed, uh, let me just find that, there are vehicle speed, it doesn't show anything, driving mode it will show which gear, like I said it starts off in second, but vehicles, the speed here never showed anything. So I'm just taking a crankshaft position sensor because it's an AC voltage generator basically. It's got two wires hooked up and I'm measuring DC voltage but you'll see a sine wave. 
just using a drill and it, if I get nice and close I get, a, I get about two volts <clears throat> minus one to one volt so I'm going to plug the engine speed sensor or the crankshaft position sensor into the harness I'm going to watch measuring block here for any change in speed again yesterday when driving the vehicle there was no reading at all I'm just using a drill that has a cutout so there are some pulses generated and you can see one kilometer two ki uh, just saw two kilometers five kilometers three so this confirms that the wiring is good circuit integrity basically uh, and now it's just a matter of taking the sensor out which is located underneath the transmission mount okay so we're gonna put a speed sensor in it uh, this bracket has to come off two bolts here this little support bolt this one and there's one hidden underneath the battery um, should be able to get it out without having to move the upper portion but uh, in order to get it this bottom bolt one right down here we're gonna have to move the battery separated I should just clip in it's a 13 millimeter battery hold down instead of a 10 we have a 13 over here this battery couple of more things it's attached to the snorkel
ground wire attached here. Here. Okay, and just have to move some of this wiring to get at that lower bolt. It'll probably shift once I disconnect these two big ones. I can move the transmission a little bit. a little bit to create a bit of space. 16. If I can just lift this guy. sensor right there 10 millimeter sorry I thought I was recording um, so it unclipped the sensor and then rooted out from underneath all of the uh, retainers there's a retainer clip that needs to be moved pop uh, rooted out from under this little retainer and then the sensor is still connected right now I'm wait I'm not gonna remove it until I get the, the new sensor because I don't want anything to drop in 
uh, once you take the old one out, you want to see if that tone ring or the reluctor ring is moving. So just move, move the wheel, and you should see it move. I'm not a transmission guy, but here you can see a little bit of the reluctor. And I'm just trying to move it. I can't move it. So that tells me that the um, reluctor is not loose. And I've got the wheel here. And you can see me spinning it, and it does move. So in all likelihood, the tone ring, etc., is okay, and it's just the sensor. Just loop the O-ring a little bit with the old oil that's on the transmission on the sensor with transmission oil sorry all tongue tied here once it's nicely looped install it it's pretty stiff wiring here when they're new bolt if I remember where I put it. I think it's about 10 newton meters. It doesn't have to be crazy tight. And then we're just going to reroute this wiring, put the back bracket back in, tighten everything back up, and then take it for a road test. Okay, new speed sensor is in. I had to disconnect the battery, so I might have to reconnect uh, or check a bunch of stuff. Radios say unsafe. Maybe I have to reset the clock. So keep those things in mind. Um, engine started, engine is running. <coughs> Automatic transmission. Fault codes clear. Run, go back, recheck. No fault code found, that's a good sign so far. Vehicle speed is zero. It was always zero when I first drove it. Put the magnifier on so we can see better. Uh, put it in gear. And watch the speed. Six, seven, eight, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. That's a good enough test for now. Park again. Actually, leave it at neutral so I can let it down off the hoist. 
and uh, during the test drive I'm going to check what gear it starts in. Actually, let's do that now. Put it in drive so it starts on 1H before it started on 2H. Okay, I'm giving gas, 1H, 2H, Three H, so it's shifting correctly now. Let's check for fault codes again. It's also a good idea to do basic setting, uh, but otherwise, that's it. It was a faulty speed sensor. Thanks for watching. Okay, and lastly, here's a test drive. So I'm backing it out, and now back in drive and I'm just driving around the block. This is a two minute video that I've fast forwarded somewhat. Uh, unfortunately you don't see the engine RPM but you can see it starts off in 1H, shifted to 2H, 3H and obviously depending on driving conditions, stop and go traffic, it's not going into fourth gear. I'm only doing about 40 kilometers an hour. That's uh, what is that 30 miles an hour not even. Uh, but I will eventually shift into fourth as well. I'm doing 56 right now. There is 4H. So the transmission is shifting good again, uh, nice and responsive off the line um, with, start, with obviously starting in first gear, whereas before it started in second. Um, so driving um, feel is much better, um, obviously now, and customers should be happy. And then um, slowing down again as they get to the parking lot, rever reversing in and out a bit uh, to park the vehicle. So. That's pretty much it. Hope you liked the video. Uh, simple sensor repair, original sensor, 12 years old or more. It's a 98 Beetle. So parts don't last forever. Uh, shifting issues usually are just sensor related most of the time.